hey everyone we are continuing our series on fibroids let's talk about the rate degeneration of fibroid now it is a very important topic that's why i'm covering this thing the fibroid have degeneration just analyze the name the fibroid have a degeneration and that is red so fibroid becomes red actually if you see the pathological uh, or histological structure of fibroid these are the cells muscle cells arranged in wall like pattern and there are blood vessels that supply this wall structure the periphery of the fibroid gets more blood supply compared to the center of the fibroid uh, coming towards the center fibroid becoming more and more white instead of red so if there any if there is any thromboembolic event in the vessel that is that are inside the fibroid then it will cause the red degeneration any thromboembolic event will cause ischemia and any ischemia whether it can be of heart or muscle or whatever it will cause acute pain vomiting fever malaise because due to ischemia certain cytotoxic substances are released into the uh, into the uh, blood system that's why in any kind of ischemia you will get those symptoms but here the fibroid is not a important tissue for example some of the this structure of fibroid gets degenerated due to non availability of the blood or due to ischemia we have no problem because it is not a useful tissue so what we do here we don't intervene in this thing what we do we do a symptomatic treatment because of this uh, <clears throat> capillary damage there are red blood cells that will be there uh, uh, in the fibroid it becomes red that's why it is called red degeneration of the fibroid so what we do in this thing we do nothing we have a conservative treatment we give analgesics we give antipyretics we give antiemetics to this symptom uh, do symptomatic treatment and again i am telling you it is more common in pregnancy and yes it is exclusive not exclusively but mostly happens in the pregnancy so when there is a pregnancy and you get a very acute pain with fever with leukocytosis you might see that yes that can be a red degeneration of fibroid there are some other diagnoses also like appendicitis twisted ovarian cyst hemorrhage these are also can happen but basically ultrasound will fix the thing pregnancy is okay there is no problem for any pregnancy so pregnancy can continue now you can uh, you should think which fibroid is a very uh, prone to have this kind of red degeneration it is sub serosal fibroid why because it's again sub serosal fibroid have lesser blood supply compared to the in uh, intramural or submucosal fibroid that's why it is more common in subserosal fibroid thank you friends